So we got the the Chico side tan. One of my favorite uh, mixable ones, just because it's a little higher proof uh, as opposed to the little lower proof uh, twenty five percent uh, silhouettes and the uh, the other uh, sochus out there. So the one cocktail we have on the menu at BCH when we reopened in February was the one thousand cranes. Um, so we took the side tan, we infused it with a little bit of cucumber, and the cucumber and the honey down melons together are, are this perfect harmony of kind of pelling off each other and trying to stack the flavor together um, and make it refreshing. So when I think about Soshu and trying to do something approachable um, and it not being a generally consumed beverage from the normal consumer that comes in, um, cocktails is the best vessel to, to introduce people into a spirit that they're not familiar with. Um, so I always think of trying to make it into a long cocktail to introduce to someone to drink it first as a long cocktail or in a citrus based cocktail because those are a lot more approachable for people. Uh, that way you can balance the flavors in there and push out unfamiliar flavors with familiar flavors with people because that's how you get people to drink cocktails. Um, so I like to kind of balance it to, to the two between savory and refreshing. So you have the, the side 10 that we've infused with a little bit of cucumber um, to kind of highlight the honeydew melon. And then we mix it in with a little bit of lemon verbena syrup, um, just because we are in San Francisco and uh, we have very luck and fortunate to have a lot of awesome citrus and uh, herbs and botanicals. Lemon verbena is awesome kicking, but obviously we don't have any right now because it's December. So uh, we just kind of kind of gear shifting it to a little bit of uh, a mix of uh, herbs and uh, verbena there. And then uh, you want to balance it out with a little bit of lemon juice. Uh, so we're going to make a long cocktail. Uh, and then all together, we have a little bit of lemon verbena bitters. Um, so it's taking those herbs, letting it sit in uh, a little bit of Everclear to pull out all and extract all of those flavors. Anything a little higher proof pulls all those flavors out for you. Uh, and then I'm going to fill my tin up with, with ice. With that cake. And we're going to strain this into a nice long cocktail again. We're going super, super festive. So we've got, we've got the... Uh, Santa Claus and his reindeer over here. Not typical glassware for PCTH, but for this time for the holidays, it's something we're gonna use. Then we're just gonna fine strain uh, the cocktail into the Collins glass here. Just get all those ice chunks out, keep it nice and clean. Uh, and then we're gonna top it off with one of my favorite brands, the Camino Yuzu Soda. Uh, they make an amazing line of sodas from Apple to Yuzu uh, to Ume as well. Uh, and this is what's really going to tie everything together and make this a little long and nice, refreshing cocktail. Uh, of course, you want to give it a little gentle stir, incorporate all those bubbles and the flavors together. Nice little top off there. Uh, and what you have left over is uh, the 1,000 cranes in our super festive holiday glassware, which is awesomely delicious. So the cocktail itself, you're pulling it together, right? Savory with a little bit of citrus and refreshing. So lemon verbena, those honeydew melon notes, cucumber, a little bit of that salty brininess that comes through and shines. And then it uses soda, which makes it kind of pop. So again, you're going, you're riding that nice fine line of like savory and refreshing at the same time uh, with a little bit of sweetness. And there you have it, the 1000 grains.